Well, then where's your dad? Oh, uh, he's upstairs getting ready. We have to go soon. Oh, uh, I see. Um, while I'm here, I just need to check he'll be in. There's a bit of a problem going on. Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. What's the problem? It's my dad. He's treating me like a child. I hate to admit it, but um, you are still a child in the eyes of the Lord. I understand that, but Father is insisting that I never see George again. And I love George. He obviously has your best intentions at heart. Uh, maybe you should just stay away from George for a few weeks? That's the problem. I don't have a few weeks. Ah, yes. Father is making himself, and I leave this village for good. To keep me away from George. We leave this evening. Well, that really is a bit of short notice. Um, how am I going to organise a leaving party? Everyone wants to say goodbye. Can you help me? I think I found what I was looking for. It's something yellow and it's in your bin. Now, it might be from a pasta that was on sale from Granny Jenkins the other day. I heard that Franklin had it too. It's the only thing that I found in his bin, it's something yellow. So it kind of suggests that it would be Link, so I think we should go and talk to her for the next clue in this mystery. I said a minute ago back there, as much as I do want to help you out, I shouldn't really know you in any of your business, so I don't know that there's anything I can do. Oh, Granny Jenkins, just the girl we were looking for. Why, when someone says that, does it always mean bad news for me? I'm afraid that's exactly what this is, Granny Jenkins. Bad news for you. Great. Another lecture. What have I done this time? No, I didn't ride the goat last night. That was Phoenix. And I wasn't the one making noises from the bush by the pub. That was... Uh, let's not get distracted by the question. Yes? Let's not. Uh, so... I just have to deal with something. Oh, OK then. Anyway, um... As you may be aware, Franklin and Hector have both been ill over recent days. And it's quite worrying as to why this may be, and I think you may know something about it. What do you mean? Well, we found something yellow in people's bins, and I'm told it's something to do with your pasta. Snitch. Yeah, well... She didn't mean to, but the real question is, why did you poison people? Dare you suggest that? I may not be the least sour member of the community, but I certainly have no intentions to get sent to prison any time soon. But is there a possibility that you could have accidentally poisoned them? It's an ancient family recipe. I cook and eat all the time. I was watching The Apprentice thing on TV and I thought, if they can make so much money, why can't I do the same for selling stuff I like to eat? But did you have any of the portions, you know, the ones that you sold? No, they look slightly different to usual. The only difference was the goat's milk. You know, from the bottle you keep in the church. Oh, you shouldn't have used that. <laughs> It's three years old. It's so old that I use it to ward off the evil spirits. You know, some people in this village are so spiritual and they're obsessed with all these obscenities that I just thought it was the best way to keep them all happy. Well, I was out of proper milk. Well, at least we've got to the bottom of this now. And I can go and let everyone in the village know they're all just a big accident. Anyway, um, where did Madeline go? I should probably go and sort her out because she's meant to be going back to her dad. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. I need to speak to the girl. Bye. So I was thinking, we need to modernise the village. We need new product to engage the whole neighbourhood and hopefully attract new visitors so we can earn some more money. That's a good idea, but I don't know if I can help though. I think you can. I won't be around much longer. Long story. Me and Madeline have important business, so we need to leave tonight. Oh, that's a shame. But it does push us some time. We need to devise all the plans for the gym so I can build it. OK. Well, we're going to need weightlifting equipment. How many weights do you usually Heavy use? weights. You know the type. <laughs> No, I mean, how much do these weights that you use weigh? Uh, 40 kilograms each. You know, I don't want to strain myself. And you use four or five of them? That's like the weight of a group of kids. That would be unbearable. Well, you know, I, I like to push myself. You just said you'll keep it simple. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Have you ever worked out? Oh, uh, well, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, well. Yes, yeah, so, um, oh, oh, sorry Hector, I didn't mean to intrude. And Franklin, good to see you too, you're looking a lot better, you seem to have been perked up a bit, and improved a lot. Yes, thank you, Vicar. I can't stay long, uh, I just wanted to let you all know that, uh, turns out Granny Jenkins was using out-of-date goat's milk, and so she gave you all food poisoning. Evil woman! She didn't do it on purpose, and, uh, don't worry, I dealt with it. Anyway, Madeline is with Granny Jenkins, just so you, uh, don't think she's run off. 
Uh, Granny Jenkins needed to speak to her. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks, Vicar. Bye for now. So, where were we? Agatha, I came as quick as I could. Apparently there's a problem. Oh, it's the same problem as before, Vicar. Frederick's still missing. What's the emergency then? Has there been a discovery of some new evidence? No, but I have an idea. Okay. I thought we could talk to the spirit world through a seance, and then if we hear a sign, then we know he's dead. But if we hear nothing, then we know that he's alive. But I haven't a clue what to do. I've never done a seance before. No bother. Just give it a go. Okay. By the power that's invested in me, the vicar of this village, can you give us a sign? I'm um, sorry to bother you, vicar, but you're doing it wrong. We can't ask for a sign because then we know he's dead. We need to just... we just need to see what happens. So that means we'd need to enter the spirit world, but how are we going to do that? We need to hold hands and close our eyes. Okay. Return Frederick to our earthly presence. Once again, vicar. We don't actually know he's in the spirit world yet. By the power invested in me, please give us some information about the whereabouts of Frederick. Please give us a sign. It's a sign! Or maybe there's someone upstairs. No, no, no one's upstairs. George is out. OK, then, let's go have a look. <laughs> Dear Diary, I held my first seance today. As you know from previous entries, Agatha was in dire need of help because her son Frederick was still missing. She suggested this may be a good way to contact the supernatural realm. It's all mumbo jumbo if you ask me, but oh well, how wrong can you be? We were waiting for a sign when suddenly we heard a sound from the second floor of Agatha's home. We ran upstairs. I can't explain what happened next. Maybe it's easier if I just paper clip onto this entry the video clip I managed to record using one of these uh, iPod things. I think that's what the kids are calling them these days anyway. I'm not even sure how it records in the first place, but apparently it does. So I just need to work out how to get it off the brick and onto the uh, video entry. Oh my god, I don't understand these things. Anyway, assuming I managed to retrieve my clip from the device, this is the next development in the story. When we got up the stairs, the noise appeared to be coming from a nearby room. I thought it was just George on his way home from flirting with Madeline, you know what they're like. But we realised it was coming from the cupboard instead. We couldn't believe it. Agatha pulled the cupboard door open and out fell Frederick. What a stupendous surprise. I couldn't comprehend how Frederick could have got in here, but it all made sense after he explained that Granny Jenkins had been babysitting him the other night. George had gone out to flirt with Madeline, and Agatha had gone out to a book club meeting, and they hadn't come home in time to say goodnight to him. If they had have gone upstairs to say goodnight to him, they would have found out that he wasn't actually in bed at all, because George suggested it would be funny to play a trick on Granny Jenkins before he left, and Frederick decided to hide in the cupboard, so when she came upstairs to check he was in bed, he was going to jump out at her. She heard him hiding though and locked him in there. I'll have to have words with her next time I see her because that's totally unacceptable. Anyway, at least Frederick is safe now. I would have added the sound for your diary clip so you could understand what's going on, but I couldn't work the iPod thing to record sound. I think it's because I shouted at it and now it's scared because of my shouting, and so it's refusing to record me. Anyway, I don't know. Frederick's safe now and that's all that matters. I need to go find his brother to tell him the good news, so I better end this diary entry now. I've got no idea where he could be though. With Madeline leaving, he's probably crying at home, is what I thought, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Oh, uh, I was supposed to meet George here. Madeline, it's so good to see you. Quick, we don't have much time. Stop. My father will soon realise it's not me. We need to escape. But if it isn't you with him, who is it? Well... You'll soon enough realise I'm doing this for the best. I want you to have the best opportunities in life and you can't hear in this cramped little village with a housewife's son. I wouldn't do this if I didn't love you. I just want your future to be bright and not dull and bleak like mine. Madeline? Oops, my mistake. I thought this was the key for the bingo night. Madeline? What? No!
We'd like to take this chance to thank the staff at the Museum of Kent Life for allowing us to use their site for the filming of this series. Now the site always has lots of cool events going on and there's always fun to be had by children of all ages. So if you would like a great family experience and an awesome day out, make sure you head to their website www.kentlife.org.uk for further details. Or you can check the description of this video for even more details. Their site doesn't only have these brilliant locations, it also has lots of other facilities including a farmyard and a park and of course a cafe. Don't miss out.